ng firewall secure configuration. Every packet passed through the ng firewall will be verify the destination with the layer 3 routing table. Stacky Lock is memory configure the path point to the network segment that ng firewall cannot reach directly and not included in the routing table. Commonly, it is used to point two or more local subnet to enable ng firewall to return the traffic back to the local network. Default static route is the another way to configure the static route by destination to the 0.0.0. subnet and the mask. It is also called as the gateway of trust resource. To meet all of other packets could not find their destination under routing table and forward out to the gateway. It is a simple and required require user to configure static route in the ng firewall. You can see there is another subnet 192.168.2.0 slash 24 where is the ng firewall cannot issue directly. We have to map the subnet with a static route in the ng firewall to indicate the traffic should pass through the Ethernet one. After this, in order to allow all of the traffic under land able to access internet, no matter what kind of issue, we have to configure default static route in ng firewall to forward all other packets to outside internet via Ethernet 2. In this particular, I will going to demonstrate the case when we have to configure the static route and how to configure it. First of all, we have to check the topology table to analyze where should we put the static route or default static route. After this, configure those necessary routing settings according to the topology. Now we can practice the way to configure the static route. In here, you can see the basic configuration with the directly connected network. We can simply look at the configuration in the LAN interface. It will be a directly connected to 192.168.1.0 subnet with the next hole address point to the call switch. After that, look at the configuration with the WAN zone. It did the same thing with the LAN and also connected to the gateway devices. The next step is to configure the static route required in this topology. First, we create a default static route to allow all inside traffic able to forward outside. We have to put in the 0.0.0 destination and subnet mask. Because most of the outside network we assign many different range of the IP address are not covered inside the routing table. Once we done, the internet network able to access internet. So you can see the interface is valid. However, the entry firewall still don't know the existence of 192.168.2.0 slash the local network and possible drop the packet while the user traffic return back from the internet. In here, we have to configure the static route to map the local subnet. Then only the traffic will pass through the internet one. So we have to put in the NASO address with the 192.168.1.1 which is the call switch. Once we done, you can see the interface over here is automatically point to the Ethernet one and the status is valid. That's all for my tutorial.